Let me see guys, in this video I want to talk about soul selling. Um, this is something I've spoken about several times um, in several videos, but in this particular video I want to specifically talk about what it means to sell one's soul. Now, this is um, acquiring wealth, status, fame, um, physical, um, well, vain possessions. Or let me just say possessions overall through unethical means okay this also in, um, includes um, increasing your net worth as well as your um, network okay those are connections okay business connections so on and so forth um, through unethical means okay and I notice people they've been using that word more commonly and I've been coming across a specific brand that people they've been voicing their opinion on um, very often you know since the, I think maybe the last few weeks and rightly so because um, of the Pluto retrograding in Capricorn I told you all that a lot of um, corporate 500 companies are gonna be exposed and um, for doing on for participating for participating in unethical acts okay that's how a lot of them you know they've you know accumulated you know certain net worths okay and it's pretty much through a lot of unethical acts and i actually saw a uh, user comment underneath one of them videos that i'm gonna just you know yeah paraphrase the person was like if you think or maybe I'm actually quoting what this person said. If you think billionaires um, become billionaires, um, well, I think I am paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what they said. But if you think that billion billionaires they become billionaires by ethical means, then you are crazy, and that is so fucking true. Okay, and I'm not gonna say every billionaire because that's absurd, and that's like being a fucking hater. That's the honest truth. That's being a hater. Yeah, because there are people who can accumulate that amount of wealth through ethical means. And that's smart. Because I know I'm going to eventually not become a billionaire, but a trillionaire. Okay? I'm going to exceed. I actually wrote a motherfucking song about that. Okay? Let me see if I can remember that song. I'm feeling it rising. And a woman in let me just remember oh my god that was like such a dope motherfucking song i was just like listening to a beat and like that that's what came to me i was like not on the millionaire status or the billionaire status and it's not that i'm vain it's just i got demons man and they tell me to write they tell me to sing and like i be just writing and just flowing like crazy man i need to start writing some more songs and getting you know get back into my creative creative flow and shit like that but um don't you know rising oh yeah i remember yeah young children are rising and i want my name lying the love is reviving and the head is be and the head is be lying Everywhere where I be, everybody be violent, everybody be violent, everybody be violent. Like on the beat it was like on a crazy rock star beat that was just so motherfucking blood god sick. Young children are rising. I'm still young, 32 years old. I'm still young, and like I don't I don't look anything like 32 i don't even look like 25 like i'm for real for real okay i'm still young okay like we are as old as we seem and feel i'm gonna add seem okay yeah but anyways um So, you know, one can, and I believe I have the ability to. And that's because I have, you know, the gifts and the abilities too. Like, my songwriting skills, man. 
my flow, my style, you know, by countless ideas. And the wits on how to execute them ideas because I know and I understand the importance of taking things um, slowly or taking things slow moving slowly at you know a gradual pace and that's why I I, I never sold my soul I never sold my soul. I never sold my motherfucking soul. Like, you know, I never, you know, became a groupie to get attention so that I can get, you know, my opportunity on the Wheel of Fortune because I'm pretty much smart enough to know that um, I don't have to sacrifice anybody because what's meant for me is meant for me. And I know my North Node. I know my birth chart. I know... Um, I'm supposed to come into a certain, you know, um, legacy, a certain, you know, um, Jupiter blessing. And so I just be waiting, man. I'm not going to fight. I've seen a lot of people, you know, taking opportunities or, you know, receiving opportunities, um, that I should have received. And I, I don't hate them. I never hated on them. I just watch them and I'm like, oh, well. And that too is another reason why, you know, a main reason, but not the only reason why COVID-19, there's a COVID-19 pandemic, because a lot of people, they don't want to shift. They don't want to allow other people to come onto the Wheel of Fortune in their respective industries and paths. Especially in the entertainment industry, but not just in the entertainment industry. Now... I created motherfucking contracts. You can't trick me with that shit. Okay? I'm not poverty shamed. I'm not poverty shamed. I pretty much tell everybody I'm fucking homeless. I, I sleep in a garage. Um, blah, blah. Like, that's something that, you know, I don't hide. Like, I don't believe in hiding shit. Because at the end of the day, um, people, they're gonna, um, eventually discover the fucking truth like I never pretended to ever be perfect no we taught my patwa I'm already my speak standard English I'm already it's however I fucking feel on a particular day it's not to appease any fucking body you know and so the whole soul selling shit, shit just don't fucking sell where I'm concerned and it don't make any fucking sense because like I don't fall for that scheme. I'm so pac patient. I have so much endurance and perseverance. Yeah. You have no idea. And so, um, rather than, you know, wearing me out, you just going to wear out your fucking self. And we are going to stop because you fuck around with energies and frequencies that you're not supposed to fuck around with. And I understand universal law. And that's another reason why I'm so patient. So, you know, you have to know what you're supposed to know. And therefore, it is confirmed that knowledge is indeed power. But it's just not knowing, but it's being wise in your knowings, okay? You know, it's, it's being able to understand what you know, which is wisdom. So it's being wise. Kingdom of, wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, wisdom of Solomon. You gotta be wise and that's how Solomon became the wealthiest man you know um, at his time in his time and that's because he was wise you have to be wise but what you know caused him to to fall was um, he didn't protect his energies that's why when people you know they're talking about all oh, kind of energy I say fuck off she have a reason why she's a bitch. Why you a bitch, man? You don't have no fucking reason. Because you're not trying to protect your energies. Because you're a fucking hoe. In every sense of the word hoe. So why the fuck, you know, you's a bitch? No fucking reason. Now, you's a real bitch. Because you's a bitch for no reason. A bitch without a purpose. You understand what I'm trying to say? But, like, it's so important that, you know, Solomon is a prime example 
of even you know how you being the wisest you can eventually become the most foolish just because you don't protect your energies for real so that's something that you have to constantly be mindful of and pay attention to but soul selling let me say is not necessarily signing a contract in blood it's you know forsaking your morals your values your moral code you know um not having any to begin with as a matter of fact and also being impatient because some people they know their destinies but they're impatient because um they fear lack they fear you know criticisms they fear people um gossiping about them chatting them and uh, chat behind them back in front of them style them them fear you know they fear them stuff and you know you, you just have to be strong detached from the crowd because the crowd you know you eventually pull the fear pull other people's fears because a little leaven does leaven up the whole lump now even you think that's you, those are your fears no man is a ninja the, the bitch you keep communicating with and keep dealing with and associating with yes a fear of fear and you're pulling on that and then you, you all of a sudden you become so impatient all right when many for the boss get knocked up sacrifice that baby and committed a, by committing an, an abortion all right sacrifice youth all right sacrifice the family all right no i'm not gonna do any of that because I've never committed an abortion before. Not putting on women who have. They must know why them do it. Right? Um, and not every woman. I'm not saying every woman who has had an abortion. That's the reason why. Alright? I'm just saying people actually do that as a form of. Uh, as, a, as a sacrificial offering. And that's for real. I'm not saying everybody who lost a child. Is sacrifice and sacrifice them I'm saying that people they actually uh, sacrifice their you know children they actually you know um put spell magic on them you know get rituals performed on their children to sacrifice them you understand me as a form of ritual okay as sacrificial offering you understand what I'm trying to say? To boost the popularity, fame, like I said, net worth, networks, both of them, yeah, to gain vanities, right? So, um, whatever you, is considered, you know, vain for that person, whether it's attention, fame, or it's a big fucking mansion, or a fleet of cars which you know really see why that necessary you know but um yes that's why it's called you know vanity because it don't really have any rhyme or reason to it but people still want it you know Cause people still want them so um soul selling is also um prostituting yourself right and i'm not you know let me just say, you know, if this even make any sense to specify, like prostituting yourself unnecessarily. You understand what I'm trying to say? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if there is an, a, a, a ever unnecessary reason to, but um, so as to not discriminate or to seem like a complete bitch. Yeah, I must say that. Yeah, prostituting oneself one's self unnecessarily is a form of soul selling which when i say unnecessarily you know fucking starve you know starve you, you can eat food you have food to eat but just because you want like i said that fleet of cars or you want you know if you accumulate a certain amount of wealth or a particular status or um you want for day run a certain clique yeah you, you do certain things you know, like being a groupie let me say yeah wander on the artists and wander on musicians entertainers and so you sleep your way up they say so you then consider transcending and going up i don't know where they put then get that from but 
that's you know them just being vain and very unethical you know but um they seek their waist uh to the top that's the, that's the phrase that they use they seek their weight to the top and it's pretty much to increase their net work okay I mean, talking already to a lot of these celebrities, like everybody are asleep with them one another and have unprotected sex and shit because the sex itself is a form of ritual because it brings about babies, of course, unprotected sex if you are somewhat fertile. And um, they sacrifice their babies, right? But. A lot of people accumulate their wealth and statuses um, through unscrupulous, unethical means, and that's for real, right? Uh, there's so few people who has, you know, um, actually accumulate vanity or, you know, a, a certain amount of wealth or status, you know, through ethical means. There's, there's just a small group of people who actually have um, achieved so much doing not so much and not, you know, being too fucking extra or, you know, doing little. And um, in, when I say little in this sense, I mean minus the whole soul selling experience and, you know, um, intention and, you know, mentality. So that's what I mean by little means, but you know, of course, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of these people actually put out a lot of work, and so on and so forth, in some way, shape, or form. Even if it was, you know, behind the scenes, that's you know, hidden to you and um, you and I, um, it's pretty much, you know, they still did put out some form of work. But at the end of the day, um, I also wanted to talk about this because being smart. Or being wise, let me say, be, being wise um, is is making conscious decisions like that does not really require you to overexert yourself. You, you feel what I'm trying to say? Like um, specifically in the black community, if he's not a crook or something. A lot of people they think that you have to slave like you're on the plantation same way to accumulate to 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 really make it in life and at the end of the day them just fucking hit hateful and just grudgeful and bad mind but really being a smart um entrepreneur you you're able to um really strategize in a way that is stress reducing you know or you know it reduces you know the stress or um, the stress of achieving certain goals so like say, uh, say for example you want to um, see for example this year you want to you know um, make a profit of um, like say a million dollars, right? There are many different ways to accumulate that. Ethical ways. Ethical ways, yeah. But if you're smart, you can. Especially like I mean like if you're a business owner, there's so many ways. Like I'm not gonna share them ways like because that's for my business consultancy um um aspect of my business that I'm conducting and running and blah 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 because um well I actually changed that that um that cover that banner but it's actually sky goddess um infinity inc astrologer and business consultant okay so like for me like i'm not gonna give away them ideas like people have to pay me for them ideas but there's so many different ways to accumulate wealth by not um being fucked up why not you know selling your soul or you know do actually you know real um real logical rational ethical means 
I don't even know why business people they don't do them stuff, but for real, for real, you can actually. I don't even know why they must have to take like the unethical route because at the end of the, I guess at the end of the day, it's just they just want to you know they really want to you know accumulate you know the wealth really quick and you know quick and fast, but you know so it come in quick, so it, you know fly out quick. You know, um, slow and steady wins the race, and whatever you accumulate, um, moving at a gradual pace, you know, it stays the course of time, you know. Um, now, I'm not even going to explain, you know, a, a very excellent business strategy or plan or idea to actually, like, accumulate a certain amount of money for a specific duration. Um, and this is really for people who already have a business and you know they already have a clientele right yeah because it's completely different if you don't have a clientele as yet the focus then would be on you know developing a clientele and so and, and really stretching the business and you know getting it out there which you have to be patient because over time it will happen a lot of people they're not willing to wait I'm willing to put out the work to really, you know, um, be worthy of, um, the Jupiters and, you know, the rewards of, you know, um, their businesses or, you know, um, I'm, I'm having a word with you issues now, but a lot of people, they're not willing to wait. They're just very impatient because, um, Yes, so they know that they're in a lucrative business, but they want to become the best of the best within a very short period of time. And that's just not, that's just not how it goes. Like everybody, they have to, you know, they have to follow, you know, the principles of nature, universal laws, like I said, and you have to wait on your time and season. And so you just have to put out your work, your, your work, and just wait. You don't want to wait. Then everything that you create will just be completely and utterly obliterated and destroyed. And then it's gonna be hard to, you know, get a comeback from that. Really, really hard. Because once you lose the trust of people, trust isn't something that you easily gain. Ex um, especially, um, when lost. So it's just. It's easier to gain someone's trust than, than to regain someone's trust. So, you know, people have to really think about that. And you have to be very, you know, um, very much conscious about um, people's feelings, people's concerns, people's emotions, okay? So you have to have solicitude, all right? You have to, you know, um, care about people's feelings. You have to be empathetic yeah yeah so the main way to succeed as a business person or an entrepreneur is to be empathetic don't treat your customers or you wouldn't want to be treated as a consumer so you see I, I, I give away a very um, very you know important important um, factor to consider in you know developing a successful company or organization but even giving that away it's still not much help for a lot of people because uh, believe it or not a lot of people they do lack empathy now that is a gift yeah empathy yeah it is a fucking gift mm -hmm. not everybody is is capable or able to empathize and so even with that being said, a lot of people still don't fucking, you know, get the gist. A lot of people still won't be able to execute that. And it doesn't matter if you get empathetic employees, as long as you as the head, the CEO, you lack in that you lack in that emotion, it's gonna ripple down to your, your brand, your business, and it's what it is. The head is the head rules the body and if the head is sick the body is sick too so you have to understand that and 
that's why a lot of these corporate 500 companies you see they come in and they, they be doing good and they be doing well and all of a sudden they just crash because man them lack empathy a lot of them you you know discover the people actually you know doing majority of the work um making their products and stuff the people it's basically slavery the people are actually it's a, a modern day uh, type of slavery and they're making millions and billions and you know all of that you know you know some of money and you know amount of cash whilst you know the people the actual workers behind the scenes they're making you know little to nothing crumbs so you know your, your business curse period that and eventually it's going to fall it's going to crumble because you accumulate all that wealth through unethical means because the people the backbone of your company without them people actually making your product there'd be no products um there'd be no you don't no, no, when i say no you the brand that you are because there'd be no products to you know substantiate that brand okay so the backbone is just broken and so therefore the company can't walk you have to crawl if you can't even move any at all and so a lot of them companies they're cursed and eventually over time they just crack and they just break away and they fall because they were the foundations of them companies are very you know shaky they're not stable they're not sturdy they're not fixed they're not beautiful because the CEOs or the partners of that um, brand or company are very unethical and insensitive and they lack empathy right so yes I hope I didn't go too far of course everything is everything and everything pretty much correlates with the whole soul selling scheme because it's pretty much you accumulating wealth through unscrupulous unethical means that's what it means to sell one soul point blank not saying people don't sign contracts in blood because that too can be a part of it but that's not the be all or end all that's not the entirety of soul selling no it's more of what you do of course signing a contract is doing something but it's more of a cause and effect kind of situation you doing it you know take uh you you know taking act or participating in a course of actions okay resulting in in certain reactions okay that type of cause and effect not just you signing a fucking contract in blood that's not it okay and so with that being said we can actually pinpoint a lot of people in society who has sold their souls like my grammar is fucked up during this mental retrograde i could tell you i swear yeah for real oh but we can pinpoint a lot of people in, in society who have actually sold their souls a lot of them for fame and from that fame they capitalize they actually capital capitalize on that fame To generate wealth to start businesses blah 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 so yeah i'm gonna leave it right there but um, i know a lot of you can pinpoint people in your communities in and around your communities in the wider society the tribe of humanity who have actually sold their souls no but don't hit on them people like I said, slow and steady does win the race. Alright, namaste.